Hi guys, quick update on the Spitshine 69 and the whole debacle that's going on with everyone fucking accusing me of somehow being involved in it and I'm fucking obviously not. So, I just had a phone call from Current Climate and um, I've never heard a man speak so much bullshit and contradict himself in my life. Okay, so... I've recorded the whole conversation, all of his text messages, everything. Okay? And I'll release the whole lot as and when it needs to be released. Because at the end of the day, I said to him, if what happened to Spitshine happened to you and you asked me in confidence not to say anything until it had gone to trial and he was found guilty or not guilty, would I have treated current climate any different than I treated Spitshine 69? No, I wouldn't, because it was dealt with in confidence. Spitshine69 has been found guilty of horrible offences, and I've now deleted all of my videos to do with Spitshine69. I've deleted all of my posts promoting him and whatever else. Even the when we was found not guilty of, you know, drunk and disorderly, he was found not guilty of Section 5 public order offence, all of those videos have been deleted. I can't do any more than that. What I don't accept is fucking other people trying to accuse me of somehow being involved in whatever it was that Spitshine69 was up to just because we had a relationship and we we, we talked on the phone and and let's get let's get two let's get two things very fucking straight here, right? Everybody's saying, and, and fucking Current Climate did this on his channel today. He said that I went out for a beer and went out filming with um, Spitshine69 after he was accused of these crimes. And that's not true. I went out filming with Spitshine69 in May of 2018. We filmed for two days. And then after that, Spitshine moved the way up north, and then I haven't filmed with him since. We've only been in contact by phone and email like I have been with every other auditor in the UK, by phone and by email. That's it. I've not met any other auditor in the UK except for Spitshine69. That's it. And I met him for two days, and we went out filming. I've now removed all of those videos, and... Now I'm being accused of somehow being involved in what Spitshine did. And that's bollocks. It's bollocks. It's disingenuous. It's ad hominem bullshit fucking, you know, comments. It's bollocks. It's bollocks. There's no way. Because there's no way if it was anybody else that was involved and they asked me, you know, in fucking, you know, it, to say, you know, can I speak to you this in confidence? You know, this is what's happened, blah, 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 this, that and the other. You know, I would have treated them all the same. All of them. Current climate, Matt, everybody else. I would have treated them all the same. It's as simple as that. You know, because I've got some fucking bollocks to stand up with people. You know. As soon as he was found guilty, I've removed all that shit. All that stuff's gone. Nobody else, everybody else put up videos of Spitshine's fucking face, uh, pictures of him, you know, videos of another person that wasn't even involved in it. So why would you do that? Because that just makes that person look bad. Yet you've got the front to try and fucking knock me for keeping shtum about it. I kept shtum about it because... The guy hadn't gone to prison. The guy hasn't gone to court. He hasn't been found guilty. He hasn't been not guilty. I couldn't report on it in the first place because I couldn't report on it. And it would be irrelevant. If anything, it would have endangered the people making the accusations if I'd fucking reported on it and got loads of fucking people supporting Spitshine. You know? That would have been completely adverse to, 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 to what the whole point was. I only kept quiet about what Spitshine was accused of, 
not what he was convicted of. Because when he was convicted, I put up a video within a few days. And let's make, let's make a point about these few days. Because on the Friday that Spitshine's last fucking court date, I phoned Matt Williams. Right? Urban Explorer. You might have known him from a few older videos. And I explained everything that went on to him. Everything. We spent over an hour on the phone. And I've got the calls logged and everything else and the whole nine yards. And he didn't put up anything because he knew he couldn't put up anything until the court said that the reporting restrictions would be released. And because it was Friday night, the court wasn't open. So therefore, we couldn't even find out if the court restrictions were, were, were still in place and we couldn't report on that. So nobody knew about it. Nobody. The only people that knew about it was Matt Williams and Current Climate. Because Matt Williams was probably straight on the phone with Current Climate to tell him what's gone on with Spitshine 69. So, whole weekend goes past, Saturday and Sunday, and Monday morning I wake up and there's a fucking ton of YouTube videos going on about Spitshine 69. Right? They'd already put them up there. I didn't have a chance to you know, put my video up, you know, because they'd already, you know, obviously the guy's been convicted, that's it, you know, put up what you want, Don't I don't give a shit, you know, put up whatever you like, it doesn't bother me, the guy's been convicted, put up whatever you want, I don't care, but, you know, I wanted to wait and see exactly what happened, and the reason I waited, the reason I waited was because I wanted to see how many fuck knuckles were going to come on their channels and start implicating me into somehow being involved in fucking Spitshine's delinquency. And of course it's bollocks. Because I put up the video saying, guilty by association, get fucking real. Exactly. Because I knew there was going to be so many fucking trolls and idiots talking about how I knew about it and I didn't say anything. Bollocks. Absolute bollocks. So, that's where it stands. And don't get me wrong, there's a ton of information that still hasn't come out about this. Still hasn't come out. And I'll make that information absolutely public when I think it's fucking necessary. Because current climate doesn't know about it. Matt Williams doesn't know about it. And there was somebody else in on YouTube that knew about it four weeks before that even went to trial. And he pulled out, saying he doesn't want anything, nothing, nothing to do with the fucking community. And the only people that knew about that bloke saying he was pulling out of the community because he didn't want anything to do with it, specifically said it was to do with Spitshine 69 and I didn't know about it. I didn't know about that particular person. But Matt Williams did and and Current Climate did. So why didn't they say anything about it then? Yeah, okay. On it goes. This is divide and conquer. As soon as you come up with a fucking plan to fucking... Stick it back to, you know, the establishment and, and, and put it back on them. Suddenly, who comes in and infiltrates these, these, these places and these people? They've got to come from somewhere. That's that. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Much appreciated. And stay safe. Always record the police and other public officials and other fuck knuckles who are paid by the fucking taxpayer. Take care, guys.